Okay, number two, we're told that the height of a frog off the ground, h, measured in feet, t seconds after it jumps into the air, is given by this formula. And we have our applied domain, t between 0 and 2. We're asked to find and interpret the average rate of change of the function h over this interval. So the average rate of change of a function, remember, is a slope. It's a slope of the secant line. We're looking at the change in the outputs, so the change in the function h, divided by the change in the inputs, and here the change in time. So I look at the h value at the end of the interval, and look at the difference between that and the h value at the beginning of the interval, divided by the length of the interval. So we go off. Now to find h of 2, everywhere we see a t, we're going to substitute the 2. Two squared is 4. 4 times negative 16 is negative 64. 32 times 2 is also 64. And so we get h of 2 is 0. Now even though we're not asked to interpret what this means, what does h of 2 equals 0 mean? Well, h represents the height off the ground. And we all know that what goes up must come down. So h of 2 means the frog is 0 feet off the ground. In other words, you know, at this point, he's returned to the earth. What's h of 1? So we substitute in t equals 1 and simplify, and we get 16 which means that he's 16 feet off the ground at this point. All right, so that's a pretty, pretty good frog, pretty strong frog. All right, substitute these values in. h of 2 is 0 minus h of 1, 16, divided by 2 minus 1 is 1. And so we get the average rate of change is 16. So that's the find part. We found the average rate of change. Now the question is, what does it mean? Okay, so we have the average rate of change, which was our change in h over change in t, is negative 16. So the first step to interpret this is to write this as a fraction, as we would any slope, negative 16 over 1. And we'll look for units. The numerator units are changes in h. h is measured in feet. The denominator is the change in t, and t represents time in seconds. So we have an average rate of negative 16 feet per second. What's the negative mean? Well, as we mentioned before, what goes up must come down. And so the rate of change is negative 16 feet per second means that the frog is falling at that rate. So how do we put all this together? We're looking at the time interval 1 to 2. I look back at my applied domain and t only runs from 0 to 2 to begin with. So we're looking at what's happening in the, uh, the second half of his journey. Okay, So uh, during uh, the last second of the frog's jump, it is falling at a rate of 16 feet per second. Now if you take a physics class, um, this is called the velocity or average velocity of the frog. All right? it, it doesn't tell you how fast the frog is going at any particular instant, but it tells you its average velocity. So this is very akin to an average speed. If you take a trip and you drive 100 miles in two hours, your average speed is going to be 50 miles an hour. Velocity is not only the concept of speed, 16 feet per second, but also the direction of that. So that's where the negative comes in. In any case, that'll do it for number two, and that'll do it for Checkpoint Quiz 2.1.